Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 108. That is, what is the difference between debugging and unit testing? Let me answer. So what is the difference between debugging and unit testing? Even though both debugging and unit testing are performed by developers, but they are not same. Okay. Coming to debugging, developers perform debugging to investigate the program when the program they are running is not producing correct results or it is producing some errors. Okay. Whenever the developers are running some programs, if that programs are producing incorrect results or they are producing some errors, in that case, developers will perform debugging to investigate the problem in the program. That's what is debugging, guys. So, for example, example for this debugging, when the developers will perform debugging, an example. Let's say when the developers are running a program, okay. Uh, the program is getting terminated abruptly and in place of that an exception is coming. Okay, when the developer is running a program, the program is giving an exception and the program is not running entirely. Okay, because of the exception, the program is failing. Okay, terminating abruptly. In that case, developer may not know in which line of the code. Okay, in which line of the code there is a problem and why this exception is coming. Developer is unaware of that. So in such kind of case, what the developer will do? Developer will debug the code, okay, with an intention of investigating the program to see which line of the code in the program is causing this exception, and because of which the program is terminating abruptly, the developer will try to investigate. And this process of investigating is known as debugging. In case of debugging, guys, developer may put some breakpoints in the code and try to run to see which line. Okay, he will try to estimate, like, okay, maybe this line is causing the exception. Okay, like that, he will try to uh investigate the problem okay which part of the program is causing this exception in this example i am talking about he'll put some breakpoints he will run the code line by line and try to figure out or find out the okay line in which the program is causing the exception and because of that exception the pro uh, why the program is terminating abruptly all these things he will investigate okay this step by step process of investigating and identifying the problem in the program which is causing the exception as part of this example is nothing but debugging okay it's only one example guys so developers will do debugging to investigate the program which when running is not producing the correct results or producing some errors okay to figure out which line of the code is causing the problem developers will do debugging hope debugging is clear for you now and coming to unit testing unit testing is completely different from debugging guys even though unit testing is also performed by developers it's a first level of software testing you can say okay unit testing is done by developers but it is a first level of software testing performed by developers where the entire application code is broken down into smaller units okay for example if the developers have written uh, this much of code okay for uh, this entire application code let's say okay the developers have written this entire application code in that case, what the developer will do is this entire application code, they will broke the code into, they will break the code into smaller units. Okay, smaller units, they will break the code. So till what extent they can break the code, right? They will go to that extent. Okay. So this these are nothing but units, guys. Here, each and every box I am representing, like uh, after breaking the code to the extent where it can be broken, right? Such each and uh, such kind of things are nothing but unit, okay, unit one, unit two, and so on. These are smallest pieces of the code which cannot be broken further. Okay. So after this entire application code is broken down into smallest pieces of the code which cannot be broken further. Here, each and every such kind of piece which cannot be broken further is known as a unit. And if the developer is breaking the code, entire code into the smallest units possible and testing these units individually, okay. So testing this in, the, in this particular units, if the developer is testing this particular, whether this unit is working fine or not, this part of the code, this uh, part of the code, this unit of the code is working fine or not by passing several varieties of inputs, okay? Different possibilities of inputs and different possibilities of outputs. Developers will check for this single piece of a unit which cannot be broken further. Such kind of testing is known as unit testing, okay? It's the first level of software testing performed by developers where the entire application code is broken down into smaller units possible, which cannot be broken further. And such kind of testing, such kind of individual and each and every unit is known as, individually their testing is known as unit testing. So hope guys, you got the answer for what is the difference between debugging and unit testing. Even though both this debugging and unit testing are performed by developers, debugging is not same as unit testing. Both are different as explained in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.